Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Warband video. Today's video is how to best start a new game. Also, due to the fact that I have a new computer, I am also doing a new character and will attempt to make the Nord the Uglords of Calradia due to not being able to transfer the last save game across. Also, a little bit of a heads up, I've had to uh, start the game where I left off with this one as I originally started recording and for some reason when I went back to check the file, for some reason the actual gameplay didn't record so we are starting from when i left off but as usual i hope you are all well and if you are new to the channel please make sure to like and subscribe as this really does help out the channel and it really helps to try and grow the community that we have here also all of you who have subscribed have been absolutely awesome and i've really enjoyed reading and uh re responding to your comments so please go keep them coming from obviously this video and all the other videos that you go through Now when starting a new game, as usual, um, you get the starting quest and I usually recommend just doing this as it's a bit of a kind of, you know, warm up and you get a bit of money and a, it gives you a bit of a head start on the game. If you're able to smash through the starter quest, then I would also recommend going back to the town that you started at as usually there is a tournament. I would enter this tournament and I would place bets. Um, bets on myself to win it as it does give you a big uh, big cash payout for example i got over 3000 in dinars from that and therefore it's given me a good foothold to be able to start recruiting so this is a really good option and also if you win the tournament it gives you an invitation to the castle slash the feast so you can actually go up there and start meeting all the lords like i just said at said feast go and meet all the lords and uh, the kings and go around that table or the hall and start asking what tasks uh, can they give you. This will start producing good relations and some of the quests will give you a decent payout and good standing as well. And gives you, you know, options to go around and start recruiting as well around the map as your quest may be near or far. When you do these uh, quests, if you do have any quests that actually affect any of the villages negatively a top tip for me would be make sure to stick around and hit the tab where you go into the go for a wander in the village meet the village elder and ask if you can do a task there to improve the relations again this uh, actually then will boost your bond with that village and will put you back on a good relations with them and it will give you a chance to recruit more troops uh, at that point and in the future with good relations with that village So once you get a good amount of money, uh, my my point is obviously start recruiting and training. Careful when you have a small amount with low experience, there will be plenty of bandits or um, traitors that are ran away from their armies, and obviously they will, you know, jump on you quite quickly unless you're able to start increasing your pathfinding ability. So as a character, when you do gain your XP. Make sure to increase the right attributes and skills that will suit your current game. For example, I focus on charisma and intelligence. I then increase my skills in leadership to obviously give me a bonus in being able to hold more troops in a party and also gives me a 5% decrease in the wage cost. I also go for pathfinding so I can obviously have a faster travel around the map. I also increase trainer so it upgrades the troops faster and gives me more XP for these troops overnight. And then I also go through all the medical skills, so your wound treatment, your surgery and your first aid. That way you've also got less chance of troops being killed, instead they end up being wounded. Um, faster healing and faster companion healing as well. My next step after starting to get a foothold on the game would be to start to ask a lord either to become a mercenary for the nords or become a uh, lord uh, of the realm for that kingdom uh, on being accepted usually uh, you get given a village so you become owner of that village and therefore it then gives you another boost in rents uh, obviously each weekly therefore you've got a bit more money to burn so you can start increasing your troop holdings or you can start using that money to uh, buy yourself some better kit or 
upgrading your troops to a higher level. Once again, when you've actually obviously got a little bit more of a foothold, try and go around, uh, try and find out where all these tournaments have been held across either obviously the kingdom that you're in or across the map. Uh, obviously, like I say, the payout is decent from these tournaments. Uh, raid caravans, uh, if obviously you are in a war with another kingdom, these turn out to be a good payout from, uh, from looting them, but also it gives you a chance to gain valuable XP for your character and your troops so you can upgrade but also killing bandits and you know completing quests are also a, a, just a good start, all round starter idea once you've become obviously a bit more into the game when you've started got a good war party and you've got a good standing in the realm your next point will be starting to take territory and holding this territory for that kingdom Once I have a solid uh, financial footing in the game, usually about 10k dinars or more, I will go and buy a profitable business at the town in the kingdom that I'm either being a mercenary for or being a lord for, as if you go for the most profitable one, this will give you another big cash injection each, each week, which will fund further troops, upgrading them, buying another business in the future. Or, like I say, spending this money on your character, on better armor, weapons, everything like that. So it just further adds to being able to use more money to kind of upgrade things. So obviously either your character, your troops, or any holdings that you hold, like your village. So upgrading, like, obviously the buildings in there to help you. So once I am Lord, uh, one of my key points here would to be keep on gaining trying to gain influence trying to get good relationships with lords because if any land become available having good relations and obviously support uh, with other lords you can actually talk to these lords uh, ask them who they think should should get this holding this land um, and if you've got high enough good relations you can persuade people to um, accept you as a good choice so therefore they put their uh, put their support behind you therefore it can actually turn a decision on its head uh, with the king uh, depending obviously how many lords back you what these lords have standing with the king or if the king just decides he wants to go in a different direction with it whether or not he just wants to give it to himself or another lord for a different political reason there's always a big reason for this but Having a good relationships with the lords in the realm really can turn the tide on getting land for yourself if you've got high enough renown and relations. Once again, once I've actually got to a good uh, war party kind of standing, the amount of troops I have and what XP they have, once I've got a decent renown and I know I've got good relations with the king, one of the things I will do if I am lord is I will join a war look to take a castle in you know close enough into a region where I want to take a castle once I've taken said castle I want to request this castle uh, so then this the rents from this will once again kickstart me uh, with a big further cash injection to keep continually kind of going recruiting more troops again uh, going for more XP you know training these troops up therefore then I have a huge huge holding of troops whether or not they're stationed in a castle as the garrison or in my war party therefore once I have the castle I can then start looking for that next step which is trying to um, work on getting a wife if I've not already started trying to court one of the ladies of the realm you know trying to pick one of the ladies that is got a good standing in the realm has good good uh, you know family members whether or not they've got a, like an uncle a father who's a lord you know, brother, anything like that, and that they're, you know, they've got a good holdings in the land. You want to pick the right type of um, lady to go for, depending obviously on the family and their standing in the realm. So at that point, that's where you, that's where your kind of next step is, and you're kind of getting off the off the starting kind of side of the game there, uh, because once you're married, you can use the castle um, to hold feasts because you arrange that with your wife. And with these 
piece, you can actually um, improve further relations with the lords in the realm. And you, once again, you're just concreting your standing within the realm there. Uh, therefore, it's going to make your life a lot easier for when you want territory in the future or help. So that's all my tips at the moment for how to, you know, start a game effectively and well. Uh, so the rest of the video is just going to be continuing gameplay. So if you uh, if you are uh, if you came here for the obviously all the hints for the uh, start how to start a game well, then obviously this is the part where I'm going to stop talking now, so you can just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, I hope you have really enjoyed obviously the information. If you think I've missed anything out, chuck it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, please.
So if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. It's most appreciated. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I say, if you think I've messed anything out, chuck it in the comment section below. Or if you've got any questions, or if you want any content created with a particular question in mind, make sure to chuck it in the comment section below. And most importantly, make sure to subscribe. It really does help, and it helps to try and you know further a community in the either Warband, you know, Bannerlord 2, or any of the other gameplay and just in general if you like gaming content. So thank you very much for watching.